Hey, what is going on guys? It's Converge time here. Once again, today we're taking a look at Gundam Converge Plus Zero Ones. This is a new set of Gundam Converge items where instead of a box of 10, I believe there's a box of, I think maybe only six in here, I think it is. Yeah, six set. And this is the Plus line. So they're going to be, I think, a little bit larger. So as you guys know, we have like the basic series of Converge figures and then they have the EX line. The EX line would be for like the larger stuff, mobile armors, things like that. So this is like a somewhere in between there that maybe these weren't maybe big enough for Bandai to make them as EX figures, but uh, too big for them to be just out in the normal line. So there's four figures out in this series, in uh, series one of the plus line. There's the Victory Gundam 2 Assault Buster, the V2 Assault Buster, the Zeong, the Rick Contio, and the Masala. And then, so obviously, as you can see, I got two V2 Assault Busters and two uh, Zeongs. But we'll go ahead and take a look at these, as always, in numerical order, starting with the plus 001, the V2 Assault Buster, which is such a cool gun design. I'm always a fan of the V2 Assault Buster, and you can see we've got the Converge 10th Anniversary logo right up here. Still, I would love if someone can find like a really nice high-resolution image of that logo and I would like print it on a t-shirt or something like that. I would be all totally down for that. Here you can see what the figure is going to look like. They're on the front, on the side, on the bottom, on the top, just a close up image of that over here on this side. On the back though, we can see some more information about the Victory Gundam and then just the other figures in the line there. So let's go ahead and just get it cracked open. As always, I can assume I'm gonna have some Bandai chewing gum right there on the top. Because this is the plus line, it would have been funny if they would have added like two pieces of gum in there instead of just the one. But we've got the two bags of parts here. We've got the Gundam, the V-Fin, the shield, the beam rifle, the backpack part. And the second uh, bag, we've got the base and more backpack equipment stuff all there. And the base for these, I guess, is gonna be clear instead of black, which I'm not a fan of. I definitely prefer that the bases for the more recent series are just nice, solid black bases. I don't like that this is clear. So that's unfortunate, but let me go ahead and get this put together. We'll see how it looks. Whew. All right, there he is loaded up from head to toe. This has a lot of parts going on there, but it looks great. In terms of the proportions and everything, definitely, definitely could use some work uh, painting in some of the details, uh, painting in some of the panel lines and things on this. So putting in some extra work on this is really going to make a huge difference, but even just as it is straight out of the box, I mean, it looks great. So you got lots of details on there, plenty of options there to make this look even better. Just give it some gloss coat to fill in some of those panel lines, paint a couple little details here and there, and you're good to go. You can even add a couple of decals if you want. I Unfortunately, it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see because it's very white, but I got a little like scuff of paint there on the top of mine, just a little factory defect, unfortunately. See like there's mold lines on here on like the top of like the big V wings there on the back, but overall, I mean, it looks very cool. Really uh, captures the look of V2, I think there with that nice gold looks good. You got the yellow and the gold parts separately so that all looks good the head looks great as well too that's the one place where like the face it's kind of a common area that you'll sometimes see like some factory defects the molding is a bit weird but the face and like the v fin the whole head looks great so looking good on this just takes a little bit of work to get it all looking its best but uh, i'm really happy with that very cool okay then up next is the rick contillo a very obscure weird design i can't say i'm really that big of a fan of it but it's certainly interesting and if you guys have seen any of my past like gonna converge reviews a lot of times what happens is like the one that i'm least looking forward to and i end up really liking it quite a bit so let's go ahead and see if that's going to still be the case with this one as well too. Maybe after I get it all put together, I'll actually really grow in my appreciation for the design, possibly. We'll see, but uh, let me just go ahead and get it put together and we'll find out. Ooh, all right, so I don't know, maybe not gonna work out for this guy entirely, but I do think that it does look really great as a figure. The face is still just looking very weird for me. I just really can't get to like the face, unfortunately, sorry to say, but the colors, just like the figure looks great especially this like really orange gold up here for the head that looks really cool and just like this kind of dark red color with that uh, bluish gray color of the inner frame and like that kind of orangish red color accent on there so the colors of the figure the design of the kit or figure i guess i should say all looks very cool you got this part here on the shoulder this can rotate if you want like to angle that forward or back if you want and also kind of cool little gimmick you can do with this cannon over here on this arm you can take this part off and reattach that onto the front to make it look like the cannon is deployed. 
like that. So if you prefer that look, that's really cool. You can also change the angle of the arm. I guess if you wanted to have this look like they're both firing at the same time, something like that. So, I mean, these aren't really meant to be poseable, but you can slightly adjust the pose basically just by like rotating the arms and that's usually kind of about it. But well, I'm still not really a big fan of the design, especially the face. I got to say, this is a really great representation of the design unless we ever get like an, a new HG or RE100 kit or something like that of it. I'd say if you are a fan of this design, go ahead and pick this up and like do a little detail work on this. And this is probably going to be your best bet for any sort of like actual representation of this in, as far as like any figure or kit or something goes because I don't imagine we'd be getting a kit of this anytime soon. But up next, of course, a design that we're all much more familiar with, the classic Xiong here, sporting some really interesting design features, a little bit different kind of design going on there on the front skirt, it looks like, and around on this. So it's certainly different from the RG in terms of some of that styling on it. The Xiong, also a design I'm never really that big of a fan of. The RG kit was great, fantastic kit, but still, uh, just the RG or just the Xiong design in general is just not one that I really like all that much. But uh, again, let me go ahead and see if the, maybe the Converge version is doing a little bit more for me. Oh, here it is. And yeah, I gotta say, I don't know if it's really doing so much for me in Converge form here, unfortunately. Again, it's a cool design and I like the small design changes that they've made here, like around the skirt. It looks pretty cool. It almost seems like you should be able to like remove this panel like for some reason. So I don't know if they're gonna have like a different a perfect Xiong figure coming out, but that would be, I guess, probably be in the EX line. Maybe there's going to be a perfect Xeon coming out where this is like a different panel on there or something. That's kind of interesting. Don't really know what that's about. But on the underside, again, if we just take it off the base here, you can see there's some nice detail going on there and that uh, nice metallic blue does look pretty cool. Again, you can adjust the angle of the arms. You can turn the hands if you want them to be looking like a little bit different. The mono eye, not really going to be very visible, unfortunately, but you can rotate that if you take off the top of the head here can turn the mono eye a little bit more to the side, but it's in a quite like really dark metallic pink kind of color there. You can also, I suppose, turn the head a little bit as well too. So you can have the mono eye off to the side, turn the head a little bit, and it's still looking pretty goofy. I gotta say, not really a big fan of that to be honest. But I mean, there you go. If you're a fan of this young, it's kind of cool to see him in this cute kind of semi SD form in the Converge line. But I mean, all the colors, everything looks great. There's a lot of nice detail on there. So I mean, if you were to detail this up, you can definitely get it to be looking you know, even better than how it is. For me personally though, as not a big fan of the Xeon, I'm still not really feeling it. Can you adjust the angle of these little thrusters here? Okay, those are fixed in place. It almost looked like you could maybe move those a little bit as well too on the side of the head, but I don't think so. I think those are just stuck on there. So anyway, there's the Xeon. It's interesting for what it is. It definitely has a very cute vibe to it. So if you like that, there you go. Last but certainly not least then is going to be the Masala. Very interesting design that I've always kind of wanted to check out the HG kit of this, but it's never one that I've ever uh, gone ahead and pulled the trigger on picking up and buying. It's a really unique design and really cool backpack on it, definitely. So I don't know, have you guys built the HG? Should I check it out or just kind of pass if I'm not really that interested in it? I, there's parts of the design that I like and parts that I don't really like so much. So let's see how I feel about the Converge figure. All right, well, here it is, and it's certainly, yeah, still very unique. With the, one of the aspects of the design that I don't really like about the Masala is the head, and with the head being kind of overly emphasized in the converged form, it's still very weird. Now, you can't really change the angle of the mono eye, as far as I can tell. You can kind of remove this part of the head where you normally then would be able to turn the mono eye, but I don't think you are able to. It seems to be just kind of set in there as it is, so you can't turn or do anything really too much with that. That just sits on there like that here on the back, though. I will say the, the kind of dark silver used for some of those details in there for that metallic details looks really, really nice up in there. And the colors, again, the colors on all these look really great. So. Those look fantastic. The details, again, look really nice. So painting in some of those details, do a little bit of panel lining on this, like these light purple and gray parts and all that is gonna look really cool. If you were to add in a couple of nice, if you could get really tiny little marking logos to put on this, adding a couple of marking logos on this would look really nice as well too. The detail on everything looks great. Straight out of the box, if you're a fan of the Masala, I mean, it definitely is a pretty unique design. So it's really interesting. But anyway guys, so there you have it for the first series of Converge Plus. Here, I gotta say, I really like the concept of them doing these as like a, a series rather than just more EX figures because the EX line, they, they come out you know very every so often and these, I can see why they wouldn't be EX figures. Some of the EX 
line, you know, aren't necessarily all that big. Like for example, we had like the Shenandu come out as an EX one. Well, it just came with a bunch of accessories and stuff. So I like that they're just doing these as a set rather than individual EX releases. But um, this particular set, unfortunately, not really designs that I'm really all that interested in. I, you know, I love the V2 Assault Buster, but the other ones I'm, aren't really ones that I really like all that much. I think they look great as little Converge figures. They're just mobile suit designs that I don't really like quite as much as uh, other stuff. So I'm looking forward to what comes out in Volume 2. Hopefully there'll be more uh, that's, you know, more appealing for me personally. But still, if you're a fan of collecting Gundam Converge figures, which I definitely am, and I'm happy to add these to my collection collection or if you're just a fan of these particular mobile suits you know maybe you're not interested in uh, checking out like the full set but you want to find just one or the other if you're a really particular fan of the Masala or the Xeong or something for example or if you have a Gundam and you want the Xeong to go with it then you know maybe try to find just one or a couple but uh, I love I like these as well so Always happy to add to my Gundam Converge collection. But anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Which one of this set is your particular favorite? Or which ones are your favorites? Or which ones are you less impressed with? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you to USA Gundam Store for making it all possible, guys. Check the link and the coupon code to USA Gundam Store down in the video description below. And thank you to you guys all so much for watching and checking out today's video. Until next time, I hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.